Hey folks, Dr. Gersmar from Aspire Natural Health. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever you happen to be listening to this, I hope you're having a fantastic day. All right, today I wanted to talk about an important thing, and that is transforming mistakes. Transforming mistakes. Now, like it or not, uh, generally not, we all make mistakes. Sometimes we make tiny mistakes. Sometimes we make big, giant mistakes. Sometimes the repercussions, the, the negatives of those mistakes are are basically non-existent. Sometimes, if you're anything like me, the only person who cares about the mistake is you. You find yourself going over, going over, going over those mistakes, beating yourself up in your head about those mistakes, and sometimes the repercussions or the consequences of mistakes are really big. Like, Big as in maybe going bankrupt, losing our home, uh, splitting up of relationships, or other very painful consequences. Of course, none of us like mistakes. But what's the reality? We all make mistakes. Everyone. So first thing, again, as we've talked about before, we can get down into the I, in particular, am bad. I'm the only person ever to make this kind of mistake. One step is gaining a little bit more perspective on the situation and recognizing, no, no, you're not. Whether it's in health, dealing with digestive issues or autoimmunity, whether it's in finances, whether it's in relationships, whether it's in careers, whatever area of your life you've made a mistake in, here's the good news. You're, you're not alone. Like many, many other people have made the same kinds of mistakes. So recognizing that it's not a humongous defect in us. We are not particularly bad for having made that mistake. But here's the second crucial piece, and that is transforming a mistake. Transforming a mistake. Okay, look, the reality is the mistake's been made. No matter how much we dwell on it, feel bad about it, think about it, how much others bring it up, unless you have a time machine, if you do, please let me know about it, but unless you have a time machine and you can go back in time, that mistake is made. The consequences that have happened from that mistake are there. You you can't undo that. But here's what you can do. You can transform that mistake. Now, an important piece that I'm not going to dwell on here, obviously, is if there are serious consequences, people have been hurt or, or anything else like that, part of transforming that mistake is, is dealing with those consequences and making sure that that is taken care of to the very best of your ability. But what we want to focus on right now when we talk about transforming our mistake is what's going on up here in our head. Again, for some of us, we can spend years, decades of our lives beating ourselves, beating ourselves up over those mistakes, how bad we are, how stupid we are, uh, you know, and replaying, replaying, replaying. Well, again, we can't change the mistake, but we can choose to look at it differently. Now, I'm a big believer that even bad stuff has a silver lining inside of it if we choose to go and find it. And here's the reality. When we succeed, when we do something right, we almost never look at, critically look at it. Like, okay, yay, I did this thing right. Let me take it apart and look at, you know, why did I do it right? What lessons can I learn from it? How could I have done it better? We almost never, unless we have a coach who's working us through that process, take the time to dissect our wins, the things we did right, and look at them and learn from them. A lot of times, and understandably so, we just celebrate, yes, I did that thing right. Now, the positive aspect of a bad thing like a mistake or a failure is that it gives us that pain around those, gives us the, the, the space, the attention, the awareness, the energy. It gives us the opportunity to dissect that failure. So instead of just ruminating on it, thinking it over, dwelling on it, feeling bad about it, instead we can choose to take apart that mistake. We can look at things like, you know, what actually went right? You know, overall, it was a failure. It was a mistake. It didn't work right. But rarely is something 100% absolute failure. Usually there's a few pieces that work right there. So we can choose, however small they are, to congratulate ourselves on the parts that worked. And then most importantly, what lessons can we learn from our mistake? 
What lessons can we learn from our mistake? Because a mistake, yes, the consequences stink, but it's really only a problem, a true, true problem, when we learn absolutely nothing from that mistake and we continue moving forward and continue making the same mistake over and over and over again. Once stinks, multiple times making the same mistake, gosh, that's a tragedy. Instead, with the pain and the discomfort of a mistake, we can pause, we can choose to take apart that mistake, and we can look for the lessons that we can learn. So again, whether it's in health, dealing with digestive issues or autoimmunity, whether it's in relationships or finances or careers or whatever the case might be, we acknowledge, I made a mistake. Lots of other people did too. It's not a particular failing of mine. And now, what went right? What what were the the even small positive things? Yay, let's celebrate that. And then more importantly, what lessons can I learn? So maybe it's to to behaviors need to change around finances or relationships or health. Maybe it's, you know, okay, I found a way that didn't work. Now, next time I approach that situation, I know that I need to do things differently. Maybe I need to do X, Y, and Z this time so that I don't end up or, or at least I very much reduce the risk of making that same mistake again. So it's important, it's valuable here to transform mistakes. Instead of letting them just be a 100% negative thing in our lives that even decades later, we may find ourselves still thinking about and beating ourselves up over. Instead, we can make the conscious choice to transform those. Yes, any reparations or anything that we need to do to deal with the consequences, that's important. But within the space of our own minds, we can choose to get a piece of paper or talk with a confidant or friend or counselor or coach, dissect that mistake. Look for the lessons that we can learn. We discovered some, a way, a thing that didn't work for us. We can learn from it. We can figure out a better approach for ourselves going forward. Then we can take a negative thing like a mistake and find the positive thing inside the negative thing. All right, folks, that is it for me today. Listen, when it comes to health, most of us have made a lot of mistakes. And those mistakes often have cost us a lot of time, cost us a lot of money, cost us a lot of energy, and often made us feel really bad about ourselves, feeling that we're hopeless or helpless, that there's just something wrong with us. And that's just not the case. We can get off that path of continuing to spin our wheels and waste time, money, energy, and we can realize that we are not hopeless or helpless. There are ways that we can improve, that we can feel better, that we can go from sick to healthy to thriving in our digestive issues and our autoimmunity. Now, if you'd like help, you'd like a trusted expert coach to help move you through those steps and get you off the, the Ferris wheel of spinning round and round and wasting time, money, and energy, then let's have a conversation. Let's see if we are the right fit to help you. We only work with a small number of people each year, and we're definitely not right for everyone. But if we are the right fit for you, we can help you transform your life. All you need to do is go to aspirenaturalhealth.com that's AspireNaturalHealth.com. Aspire is an A-S-P-I-R-E, NaturalHealth.com. And there are two buttons there. You can click one of them. One says, ask about price and availability. So if you want to explore more about us and how we work and what it looks like and whether we have any availability at the moment or we're on wait list, just click that button to get more information. Or if you're like, yes, yes, and yes, I know this is the right path for me, then all you need to do is click on the button that says apply for help. And that will take you through the next steps. We'll have a conversation together and we will see if we are the right match to work together. Again, if we're not, perfectly fine. We are, again, we're not the right people for a lot of people out there. But if we are the right match, we can help you transform your life. All right, folks, go to AspireNaturalHealth.com and click on one of those two buttons now. Until next time, take care.